It's no secret that invasive species can cause massive damages to non-native ecosystems. Most of the damages are felt by the native species as invasive species are one of the main causes of extinctions. When a species is introduced into an ecosystem where it doesn't belong, it not only starts competing with the native species but it may also prey on them directly. As well as this, a lot of invasive species can cause damage to fragile environments, and many native creatures need these environments to survive. This is the main and most important reason why we try to control invasive species. But these creatures can also affect humans too. Some invasive species can cause damage to property and infrastructure, and others can threaten a human's life directly. Some invasive species can go under the radar and stay hidden if they want to, but some are so large and dangerous that they're impossible to ignore. In this video I will be focusing on just a few of these creatures, as I will be going through three invasive species that can become killers. Before I go any further in this video, I'd just like to point out that invasive species shouldn't be villainized, as it's not their choice to be introduced into an ecosystem where they don't belong, and they are simply just trying to survive. Invasive species are often treated unfairly and inhumanely, but it really isn't the animal's fault that it's invasive. And if you look at the bigger picture, humans are really the worst invasive species on this planet. There are some obvious animals that I could include in this video, but I have featured some of them in recent videos. That's why I won't be including the invasive hippos in Colombia, or the Burmese pythons in Florida. That's why instead for our first species we will be heading over to Eurasia, as we will be taking a look at the wild boar. This species goes by many names such as wild swine or Eurasian wild pig, and it is native to both Eurasia and North Africa. Today it is now one of the widest ranging mammals in the world, as it's been introduced into many countries outside of its native range, and in some ecosystems it is pretty much taken over. Throughout its range it has many different subspecies and populations, and although it may look very similar to a normal pig, wild boars are generally a lot larger and a lot more powerful. Famously pigs are not very fussy eaters, and they are very good at digging up roots, tubers and bulbs. Plant matter does make up a large part of their diet, but in some areas they will also feed on garbage, and any small creatures and carrion that they can find. As they are found in so many countries around the world, they have quite a few natural predators. In their native range they are hunted by lynx, wolves and bears, but in Asia they are targeted by tigers and komodo dragons, and in South America they are targeted by jaguars. Even though they are hunted by so many top predators, they are still successful in non-native ecosystems, and this is mainly due down to the fact that they are so adaptable. The most adaptable species are often very successful invasive species, and as wild boars can survive by eating garbage, they definitely fit into this category. Wild boar can have a massive negative impact on an ecosystem, and they can also have negative effects on the economy and people's lives. They of course compete with many native mammals, and their digging and wallowing behaviours destroy habitats. They uproot and destroy many native plant species, and their feeding behaviours also cause soil compaction and erosion. As well as this, they also decimate farms by eating crops and destroying land, and in some cases they are known to attack and kill people. The wild boar is a very unpredictable creature, and they usually attack when they feel concerned or threatened. Most attacks occur in woodland where wild boar have been startled, and boar with piglets are far more aggressive. They are far more likely to attack if you have a dog with you, and as most people walking in the woods are walking with their dogs, wild boar attacks are more common than you might think. For the most part wild boar attacks are not fatal, but of course there are some exceptions. It's thought that around 5-10 to 10 people are killed by wild boar each year, and as wild boar spread throughout the world this number could get larger. At one point in Rome residents imposed a nightly curfew, as there had been a spate of wild boar attacks in the area. Luckily in most cases, if you leave these boar alone they will leave you alone, yet they are an invasive species that can turn deadly. But for our next species we will be heading over to Africa as we have the Nile Crocodile. Now the Nile Crocodile is not only one of the most dangerous invasive species in the world, but it's one of the most dangerous species full stop. They are native to the freshwater habitats in Africa, and they are currently present in 26 countries. It is the largest freshwater predator in Africa, and they are thought to be the second largest extant reptile in the world. They're thought to be able to reach a length of around 6.1 meters, and the largest can weigh in at over a ton. You definitely wouldn't want to mess with a creature of this size, and they still take many human lives to this day. Nile crocodiles will target pretty much any animal that enters the water, but the prey they target depends on their size. Smaller individuals are more likely to go after fish, and there's no limits on what the giants 
will eat. Even lions and leopards have to go careful, and Nile crocodiles will even feed on other Nile crocodiles. It's hard to estimate how many people are killed by Nile crocodiles each year, as most of the attacks happen in rural areas, and these attacks are often unreported. It's thought that they kill hundreds or possibly thousands of people each year, which is more than all other crocodilian species combined. There was one infamous Nile crocodile that went by the name of Gustav, and he allegedly killed 200 people near Lake Tanganyika in Burundi. This of course means that the Nile crocodile is one of the most terrifying predators on this planet, and I'm sure most people are unaware that it's invasive. Before I get accused of fear-mongering, the Nile crocodile is not invasive in large numbers, but a few of them have been spotted in Florida. Florida is famously the worst affected place when it comes to invasive species, and at this point it really does seem like a lost cause. Between 2009 and 2014, three Nile crocodiles were found in the Everglades. These creatures were thought to have escaped from a private zoo, and if they start reproducing it could become a massive problem. When fully grown, these crocodiles can feed on pretty much anything they want to, and they will compete with the Native American alligator and the Native American crocodiles. These two native crocodilians will and do attack people, but they are far less aggressive than the Nile crocodile. Luckily, as I've mentioned, they are still only found in small numbers, and hopefully for the people of Florida, they will not spread and multiply. For our final inclusion on this list, I will not be focusing on a specific species, but I will instead be focusing on a group of insects. There are thousands of species of mosquito around the world, and mosquitoes are some of the most hated creatures on this planet. It's easy to understand that most creatures have a place in their ecosystem, but it's very hard to justify parasites. Even though mosquitoes are not as terrifying as crocodiles or tigers, they kill far more people than these predators do. Believe it or not, there are some areas around the world where mosquitoes are not native, and when mosquitoes are introduced, they can cause massive problems. One of the worst invasive mosquitoes is the Asian tiger mosquito, and these creatures have been introduced into many countries around the world. They mostly enter countries on planes or on ships, and once they arrive, they can quickly multiply. All they need is some stagnant water to lay their eggs in, and by this time, it's often too late. One great example of an ecosystem that's been negatively affected by mosquitoes is Hawaii, because Hawaii had no indigenous mosquito species. Once the mosquitoes were introduced, they immediately started causing problems, as they started spreading many avian diseases that wiped out a lot of the native bird species. It's not only native species that suffer as humans do too, as it's thought that around 1 million people per year die from mosquito-borne diseases. Mosquitoes help the spread of Zika virus, West Nile virus, chicken gunya virus, dengue fever, and malaria. These diseases kill far more people than predators do, and they are really the world's most dangerous invasive species. Of course, there are plenty of other creatures that could have made it on this list, so if you know of any, then please let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.